Welcome to Data Project Hub. In this video, we will see what are the different date and time data types in SQL. Why this is important is because there are different ways in which we represent date and time in our database. It is important to know what are the different components shown in each of the different date and time data types so that we can do a lot of transformations with respect to that particular column. So the available data types with respect to date and time are date, date time, then date time two, then date time offset, then small date time and time. Now let us go through each of these data types and see what is the difference between each of the type and what are the additional components in each of the data types. So that what I'm trying to do here is I'm declaring different variables with respect to each of the seven data type. The first one is date. I'm declaring a date data type, which is called as date. And the second one is date time and the name of the variable is date type and the third one is date time 2 and the variable name is also date time 2 similarly i'm declaring variables for date time offset then small date time and time so we have successfully declared seven different variables for all the seven different data types sorry six different data types now i'm going to set some values to each of the variables which we have declared in the previous query so here declaration of the variables have happened now here i'm setting all the variables which have been declared with get date function i am providing some value to each of the variables now after that i am simply executing a select clause on all of the different variables which i have declared so that we can see what are the different date formats which is available with respect to different data types so now let me execute this entire query. I don't want to select anything because the entire query should run from start to end. Starting from declare to the end of select close, it should run. Then only we will get the result. Now let me run this. Now we have six columns based on the different six data types with respect to date and time. So the first column is date, which is of date data type. And now in this column, we can see that we have the year month and day and then coming to the second column we have the date time data type which is of date time data type only and now here we have year the first part is year then it is month then after that we have day followed by a space we have the hour then we have minute then we have seconds and after that we have the nanoseconds after that we have declared the data type date time 2 and the column name is date time 2 only but here the difference between date time and date time 2 is that here for the nanosecond part we have a precision or the decimal part will be only 3 but in case of date time 2 here the nanosecond part or the precision will be 7 so actually we can control the precision length also or the decimal length also using the date time 2 data type uh, how we can do that is by instead of providing this date time to name only as the data type we can even provide a number within the parenthesis and we can specify the precision length and after that we have a date time offset data type here what it is telling us is the first part is the year then the second is month then the third part is day followed by hour then minute then the 51 is seconds then the nanosecond part plus or minus the hour and minute with respect to gmt that is this will give us a time date time with respect to gmt then after that we have the small date time which will give us year followed by month then day followed by hour then minute then seconds it will not have any nanosecond part then finally we have a time data type which will only give us the time that is it starts with hour then minute then seconds followed by nanoseconds i will take you through a documentation which is provided by microsoft it has got a clear ex explanation of all these data types and all this is explained within a single table so we can even identify all these things using the single table so here we have all the six data types and the format in which each of the data type is 
represented that is considered type it is hh which means hour followed by a full colon then mm which is minute then ss which is seconds then inside the square bracket which is which means it is not necessary but even providing it providing it there is no problem so coming down we can see that date data type which is of this format that is y y y y which is the year part then mm month part then dd which is day and also we can see that the range of value which we can provide to each of the date is also given within the table see for example for this date data type the range of value should be from year 1 month 1 day 1 to year 9999 so out of this value or exceeding this value we will get some error similarly small date time we have values which should range from 1900 through 2079 so if we are trying to provide a value out of this range it will give us an error so whenever we are providing a data type or assigning a data type to a date time column we should be aware of all these factors that is the format and the range with respect to which we can provide values to the column also let us go through each of the other four data types also which is the small date time which is a format y y y y which is the year part followed by month and date sorry day then h h means hour then a full colon followed by mm which is the minute then full colon then we have s s which is seconds then coming down we have the date time which is of similar format compared to small date time but it has an additional part that is the n n n that is nanosecond part then we have the date time to data type which is of same format as the previous date time but when we look at the nanosecond part we can see that the precision or the decimal numbers are more here so here we have seven numbers in the precision or the decimal part with respect to that nanosecond part but in case of date time we have only three then coming down we have the date time offset which is of this format where we have the year month date as the first part then coming down we have the hh which is the hour then mm which is the minute then seconds followed by nanosecond which is in square bracket that is it can be provided or it need not be provided so after that we have the offset part which is the plus or minus hh mm which is the hour and minute offset with respect to gmt so now we have gone through all the six different data and type data types which are available in sql uh, i hope the video was clear thanks for watching and if you like this video subscribe for more thank you